Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with my Samsung Epic 4G, original Samsung Epic 4G here to do a video, not showing you how to do anything, but basically inform you on things and give you a little bit of instruction for different things. If you do flash ROMs on your Epic 4G, you will need to watch this video. It's high, I re highly recommend it. I'm going to be probably with questions being referring to this video in the future with future development on the Epic. It uh, basically is going to give you information on what the future for development looks like and helps you uh, answer questions that you guys are going to have in the future. Uh, before I do start this video, I would like to give a thanks to uh, MKA Sick, New Ben Out, New Coder, Decadence, Null Ghost, Uber Penguin, Team Hacksung, Cyan Jamad, and Samsung, and D Rockstar as well for doing this for us. I'll be explaining what uh, they did for us in this video, but thanks to them. I do want to also give a separate thanks from a personal thanks uh, to New Benal for basically explaining this stuff to me and allowing me, giving me his insight on this, uh, this issue. I learned a lot from him tonight alone. So here's what it is. Basically you have uh, something on your phone called a partition. What a partition is, it divides something into your phone into parts, whether it's a hard drive or flash memory, it'll divide it into parts. Uh, there's two, well, two type of partitions that I'll be talking about is the BML partition and the MTD partition. The BML partition is Samsung's proprietary partition map, and MTD is an open source partition that's going to allow us to switch the sizes of system the system folder, which is actually necessary for ice cream sandwich. So that gives you a sneak peek of what I'll be talking about later in the video. But uh, right now, currently and in the past, the Epic has been uh, using the BML partition. Uh, as a part of the BML partition, you have file systems. With the BML partition, you use the RFS and EXT4 file systems. Those are two file systems that are used. Uh, on stock, the RFS file system is used, but developers choose to convert it to the EXT4 file system for speed reasons, make everything faster, etc. That's why they go to EXT4. But now that we have the MTD partition, that uses the YAFFS2 file system. So that's another term you'll need to know, is the YAFFS2 file system. And uh, from what I have heard, the YAFFS2 file system is going to provide more stability and a little bit more speed in comparison to the EXT4 file system. So that's something nice to look forward to. Right now on my Epic 4G, I, am, I do have the MTD partition, so I am running on the YAFFS2 file system. I'll prove that later in the video. But, so I am on that. I, I'm running a signage of mod build right now on my Epic. I can actually go to menu, settings, and then scroll down to about phone. You'll see in a built in the mod version, Epic MTD right there. But there's another way I can show you guys. I am using the MTD partition and on the YFFS2 file system. But okay, now that you guys have an idea of partitions and file systems, basically the reason you're going to want to use the MTD and developers are going to want to use the MTD partition, it gives you obviously, as I said, a better way to control the partition, which will allow you to switch the sizes of the system folder. Uh, the reason that developers are going to like this is because with the YFFS2 fi uh, file system and the MTD partition, you have better compa compatibility with signage and mod and everything having to do with open source, such as MIUI and as well as Ice Cream Sandwich, the big one. So what this means is basically it's going to make everything easier for developers when porting ROMs such as signage and mod 7 or in an open source ice cream sandwich build, etc. It's going to help align uh, sources more with other Galaxy S devices. It'll help align things with the Nexus S4G as well. So overall, you'll start, now that we do have this, we are going to start seeing better ports, better uh, ROMs for our Epic 4G to make everything better for us. So as I said, big thanks to all those people I mentioned in the beginning for doing this. The uh, when you do go to the MTD partition and on the YAFFS2 file system, you cannot just flash back to a ROM that's on 
the BML partition or EXT4 file system or RFS file system, you have to actually ODIN back to stock and make sure and have repartition checked as well as auto reboot and use the victory PIT file with your tar file. The reason I say that is because you need to repartition your phone back to stock, which is what ODINing will do. You can't just flash another ROM. So keep that in mind. That's something I'll elaborate more in future videos for you guys. I'll be sure to go over this stuff in the future. This isn't it hasn't gotten rolling yet, but it will soon. And I did want to get this video out for everyone so everyone knows what's going on, etc. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and actually try and prove to you guys that um, my Epic 4G is on YFFS2 file system, which will mean it's on the MTD partition. So I'm going to plug it into my phone. You should see USB debugging up at the top. So USB debugging is on. I'm gonna to go to my PC actually, and then open a command prompt. So open a command prompt, and let me bring this to the center. So we've got a command prompt open right there. As you can see, I'm gonna type EDB shell, and you'll see a little uh, symbol there. Now I'm, all I gotta do is type mount. So now that I type mount in, you see a bunch of text right here. As you can see, the main text I want you to look at is this right here. This type, system type, data type, cache type, right there, YAFFS2. So there's proof right there I am on the YAFFS2 file system, which means I am on the MTD partition. But irregardless, as you can see, that's proof that we do have it on the Epic 4G. As I said, it should improve many, many things for the Epic. There should be a lot more good stuff to come, so definitely not a device that should be forgot about. Things will definitely get better for the Epic 4G and Epic 4G owners. Just an instructional video for everyone. I hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to me as well for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think of this video, if there's things I can improve upon or anything like that. So please leave a comment on the video. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.